Back, 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 back. Chicken here. Bringing you another Clash of Clans video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of a war recap. Uh, not on this one, but on the one we just finished in the war log. Uh, you'll see we beat a level, uh, excuse me, a level, level 11 war clan. That's a friggin' chicken tongue twister there. Um, but yeah, so we'll break it down here, we'll close the chat there, and get the chicken uh, up there. Um... So my attacks were actually overdone. Uh, both my two stars were turned into three stars. But um, so as far as what I'm gonna do for the war recap, I think I'll show uh, like a couple, a couple top hits, a middle hit, and then a lower hit. Just to like I don't want to go through all of them because I feel like that would be boring. But um, I'll show you some of the cool ones. Uh, this is an interesting base. Most of the uh, most of the bases that we see now, especially up at the top, they're kind of like. For back of a, lack of a better term, they're like moat bases where it's like super spread out, like circle bases, and then in the uh, the town halls, like in the very center. It's usually alone, but this one uh, I've I've never actually seen this base before, but we'll see uh, how it works. He's using the uh, the bowler healer composition, which is like if you guys do high level clan wars, it's like either bowler heal bowler healer or minor healer right now, basically, and then. Um, like a lot of Valk, Valkyrie attacks too, uh, get thrown in the mix. So we've got, uh, we got Toby here going in on, uh, what's this guy's name? Osama. And, uh, yeah, doing work with the, with the bowlers. You'll see he opened up the, the middle there with the quakes. And just kind of, uh, he was able to do a lot of damage with the bowlers. Uh, I don't think he even, does he even use these poison spells? No, he does not. He does not. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty uh, bread and butter, two star, as far as the top bases go. We'll show this one. Uh, we don't typically see a ton of three stars at uh, Town Hall 11, but uh, they do happen, for sure. It's just not, uh, it hasn't been as consistent lately as it was when the, uh, the Valkyries were first uh, buffed. Uh, around that time, there was a lot of... Uh, three stars with the Valkyries and then um, and then with the bowler initial buff there was a lot of three stars but it's kind of tapered down a bit now as people like adapt and change their bases and whatnot so this guy again he's got uh, he's got the two poisons but it doesn't look like he's using them which is interesting because he does end up three starring with like basically an empty uh, he could have taken like another rage heal or jump or something that would have made a big difference but uh, I guess that just goes to show you how uh, how strong the bowlers are <clears throat> so they're making their way in, and uh, now it's basically cleanup time. Does he use the, the poisons at all? I guess not, eh? Damn. Does not need them, I guess. So that was a pretty good uh, pretty good three-star by Timmy there. And uh, unfortunately, he was able to three-star three, but not five. Hmm, questionable. What did he get there? 93%? Ooh, that's painful. Uh, but anyways, we'll, uh, we'll show a mid-level attack here. Just got to uh, we'll pick one that's like a semi-decent matchup. 15 versus 15. We'll try this one. Artemis. So for uh, Town Hall 9, it's basically 3-star or bust as far as, uh, as far as wars go. He's using Giants here, which is pretty interesting. I guess uh, Giant Hog with Healer is a thing now. I've, I've seen a lot of that lately, and it's been kind of surprising. Usually when I see someone uh, use Giants, I'm just like, what is going on? But, I mean, the big, biggest thing for Giants is going to be the Inferno Tower, right? Like, the multi-set uh, Inferno is just going to melt Giants, just like it's going to Hogs and and uh, stuff like that. The Miners get away from it because they dig underground, and the Bowlers have a pretty good amount of health, so they can kind of just power through it. But, yeah, you can still use Giants at uh, Town Hall 9 for sure, especially for uh, for farming. I used them for a while for uh, Dark Elixir farming. I found they were really great for that. So he's got some bowlers in the CC. The hogs are doing work. And, uh, again, lots of lots of spell space left over. So that's, like, every attack now we've seen has had, like, a decent amount of spell space. Uh, we'll see this one, if it's going to be interesting or not. Yeah, uh, Town Hall 7. Doesn't really matter what you do here. I mean, um, it, this guy is a Town Hall uh, 8, I believe, that's attacking him. He's got level 4 hogs, so I think that's 8. I might be wrong. But, I mean, just throw them down. They do work. 
simple as that. Bang, bang. No point in watching the rest of that. Uh, I did want to go over, um, well, I guess just to uh, just to touch on the war. Um, that put us at 194 wars won. So six away from 200, which is going to be pretty cool. I haven't checked the, the war page in a while, so I'm not sure where we actually sit in terms of the top war clans. Like if we're getting closer, if we're like way off. Uh, the last time I was in a top war clan, I guess before I get into this, I should, uh, I should show something. Um, uh, yeah. Last time I was in a top war clan, I was, um, I was just going to show some uh, elixir farming raids that I've been doing lately. Um, yeah, we were, we, we were sitting at like two, like under 250 wins, like 220, I think. And that was like... That was almost a year ago now, honestly. So I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's getting up there as far as the 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 top clans, like the leaderboard stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so my elixir farming. This is how this has been going. Um, it's been going really well, uh, actually. I've been using Valkyries and Bowlers, and I just bring a few, uh, like usually four Quakes and a couple Haste, and that's been like enough to get the job done, like on uh, like. Not maxed out 10 all 10 bases, I guess, with, like, clan cast and everything, but, like, reasonably high-level Town Hall 10s and, like, some Town Hall uh, 11s, depending on how they're spaced. Uh, you'll see the Archer does eventually pick off that uh, Elixir storage for me. But, yeah, that's a 400k Elixir of pure, pure chicken profit. Uh, we'll show another one here. Um, I think I had a really good one. Yeah, these two were back-to-back -back a couple days ago, and that was, like, instant uh like one million elixir within like two hours of playing like it's pretty ridiculous the only thing though is like obviously i'm gonna burn through a ton of dark elixir so i have to kind of i need to be making like 3k to uh to stay balanced but what i'll do is i'll do like maybe five of these attacks a day and then i'll end the day off doing um it's like Lunian or giant whatever uh like old dark elixir uh raids that i would do Obviously, you can use um, barbarians and archers, uh, barching, and uh, that's still a thing for farming. But I don't know. I was never really a fan of it. It just seems like super boring to me, and I hate just like searching around for dead bases. So I'd rather cook like a full-sized army and like actually take the base down. It's just more fun. Plus, you get the uh, the star loot, which is nice. I got a uh, pretty full treasury at the moment, so uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that because I got a lot of elixir. I'm probably going to have to switch over to dark elixir farm because this guy's not going to be ready for a while. So there's no point in maxing out my elix elixir, excuse me, and just having it sit there. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for the Clash Clans video today, guys. Uh, we are nine stars away from 600, so that's going to be the next goal. And uh, yeah, let me know what... Uh, let me know what uh, your guys' experience has been with uh, Top War Clans. Uh, that's going to be the next Clash Clans video. Actually, I'm going to do uh, my experience being in a Top War Clan because I wasn't one, like I mentioned before, for about a few months, maybe six months, something like that. Uh, so yeah, let me got let me know in the comments your experience with uh, your clans, how you guys, how your guys war doing, what your best, uh, what your best win streak is, what, uh, how many wars won you're at. And, uh, and yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Chicken out.